Hello, uh, there is a question number 6. Let me read it. It says that we have a two identical frictionless slides A and B. So, this is slide A some up to in this place and this is B identical one and they each have a mass M or a high touch and they are placed on a frictionless floor as shown in the figure. There is a small disc. This has a mass small m and this is of capital M, this is of capital M and this small m is much uh, smaller as compared to capital M. That is a very important condition uh, in this question particularly and uh, this slides from this, when it slides from this, it comes here, then it will rise on this, then it will come down and this rise on this. During this thing, you will find this A will be sliding here, B will be sliding there, so they will getting separated. And this process will keep on going until uh, this uh, comes to rest or, or maybe like moving with certain velocity which is lesser than these two uh, slides. So, uh, it says uh, find expressions for the speed uh, that eventually uh, is going to be attained by these uh, slides and when uh, bead ceases to move on them. So, solve, for solving we can say this that later on it will appear like this, this is a ground, let us say slide would have moved like this. So, slide A is maybe somewhere here, maybe uh, somewhere there. So, this is slide A and similarly slide B will be moving somewhere there. That is a B and the disc may be somewhere there maybe finally and let us say this is moving here with velocity v1 this is moving in this direction with velocity v2 and this is moving maybe like in this direction with velocity v this is small m these are, they are capital m i am drawing the final picture now uh, this bead will stop uh, rising on this if v1 becomes more than v so, that means it is coming finally from here and it will not be able to catch it because V1 is larger as compared to V. So, this kind of situation may be considered in the final case scenario. Now, if this is the situation then we can say um, from this figure to this figure since there is no force acting in the horizontal condition uh, or direction if we consider all three as our system. So, in a horizontal direction we can go for linear momentum conservation. So, if you apply linear momentum conservation in x direction, you are going to get it like uh, m v positive plus capital M v 1 minus capital M v 2 that is the final momentum is equal to initial momentum initially everything was at rest. So, this is going to be one equation. Then we can say uh, since there is no friction and other things, so a conservation of mechanical energy can be applied. So, mechanical energy conservation it will say uh, initially there was mgh energy because it was at height h finally it has gone to downside there is no change in the center of mass location of a and b and this gravitational potential energy has led to the final kinetic energy so final kinetic energy is going to be half mv2 square plus half mv1 square plus half mv square now the question says that m is very very small as compared to capital m Moreover, we have found out that V1 is going to be greater than V, final scenario. So, a small m and a small v together will give even a smaller number. So, this a small m v is going to be negligible. So, we can say using the condition, we can say this is going to be neglected. And similarly, this term can be neglected because uh, this velocity is very small, mass is very small, so uh, the product is going to be smaller as compared to the other things that, is, that are written there. So, the equation 2 and 1, they will be further simplified and 1 will turn up as m v 1 is equal to m v 2, basically claiming that v 1 is going to be equal to v 2. And if it is claiming this, then we can use this second and this will going to be small m g h is equal to half m we can take common and v 1 and v 2 they are became equal. So, we can write it as a twice 
v1 square so 2 and 2 getting cancelled out right so v1 is going to be equal to square root of uh, mgh small mgh divided by capital m now if you look at the v2 the same is going to be expression for v2 so these are going to be the velocities or, or speeds of these uh, slides when the bead stops sliding on these slides okay so this will become our final answer it's simple easy thank you